Hey there! You are here to know more about cryptocurrency and that is why I made my channel in the first place. If you haven't watched my first two compilations, do that now and leave a like, a sub and a comment if you want to know more about a certain project. Thanks and enjoy watching! Link started as an ERC20 token made by Sergei Nasarov and Steve Ellis. In 2019, Chainlink launched its own mainnet and an independent blockchain. What makes it so important for the whole industry is its function as an oracle. The ability to securely and reliably bring external data onto the blockchain makes it a crucial infrastructure component for creators in the crypto space. Most importantly, the DeFi sector relies on real-world data and Chainlink was chosen to be the undoubted master of oracles. It is a very well-known cryptocurrency and many people foresee a bright future for the project because it solves an important problem. Connecting the real world to the blockchain. Chad McCaleb, yep, it's the Ripple guy, created the Stellar Lumens blockchain to facilitate cross-border payments with underserved populations in mind. A noble project which resulted in a fast, decentralized cross-border payment and asset issuance system. Security and quick transaction confirmation is provided by the XLM token and the Stellar Consensus Protocol. Stellar's aim is to securely connect financial institutions, payment systems and individuals to transfer assets like cryptocurrencies, fiat money and even precious metals via its built-in decentralized exchange. It already has some well-known partnerships, but the usual layer 1 problems, a large competition, regular uncertainty, scalability issues and sadly a lack of awareness. TrueUSD is not a project you invest your money in and expect a return. It is a stable coin, meaning it reflects exactly the price of the US dollar. TrueUSD is another Ethereum based stable coin that claims to be stable, transparent and reliable. In this case, the underlying company Trust Token really tries hard to be as trustworthy as possible by compliance with regulatory standards, AML, KYC and regulatory audits by third parties. They want to be as transparent as much to secure that for every true USD there is a US dollar in custody. Sounds good so far, but is playing after the rules a good thing? Is true USD the tether killer? Now imagine the Tor browser of cryptocurrency, voila, you have Monero. The anonymity of payment Monero provides for its users is unreached among all cryptocurrencies. Monero transactions are confidential. Details like the sender, receiver and transaction amount are hidden by default, making it challenging to trace the flow of funds. This is achieved by so-called ring signatures. When a user initiates a transaction, it's combined with several other transactions, making it difficult to determine the source of the funds. Stealth addresses, interchange changeable and non-fungible coins and a wide acceptance make Monero the go-to cryptocurrency for the shady stuff you do on the internet. Blessing and curse at the same time. People call it the dark web's money. Just like BNB, Leo or Kronos, OKB is a utility token for its underlying exchange OKX. It is used for paying trading fees and other various services on the platform. A pretty neat thing is that you can stake your OKB and depending on the amount you have voting rights for new listings on the exchange. Holders also get sometimes rewarded with airdrops or bonus distributions. OKB started as an Ethereum based ERC20 token but is now on its own chain, OK Chain. Well, okay. What is there more to say? If the exchange fails, the coin also goes down the drain. The big idea. The Internet of Blockchains. The plan of the company Tenement Inc. was to solve one of the crypto space's biggest problems interoperability. Cosmos employs the Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, which enables various blockchains to communicate and transfer assets seamlessly. This allows for the exchange of data and tokens between different blockchains within the Cosmos network and even with external blockchains via hub and zone architecture. Developers can work with Cosmos' own software developer kit, and the Atom token is used for governance and network security via a proof-of-stake consensus. In summary, Cosmos has a big plan that gets more and more important the larger the crypto space grows, connecting everything with everything and everybody. Uniswap is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange built on the Ethereum blockchain. It allows users to swap various ERC20 tokens directly, replacing the classic buyer-seller model of centralized exchanges. Users can contribute to liquidity pools by depositing an equivalent value of two tokens, earning fees in return, all possible via smart contracts. Its open source code enables developers to create or integrate Uniswap into other dApps. 
The very cute uni token is the governance token of the DEX, giving holders the ability to propose and to vote on changes to the protocol. The only problem right now are the high gas fees on ETH, but that's not the unicorn's fault. Hedera is a decentralized public network that utilizes a novel consensus algorithm called Hashgraph to achieve fast, secure and fair distributed ledger technology and it has its own independent blockchain. This innovation employs a gossip about gossip protocol to efficiently reach consensus among nodes. Hedera also incorporates a unique governance model with the Hedera Governing Council, a group of diverse global enterprises overseeing network decisions to ensure decentralization and stability. HBAR plays a central role in the network, facilitating transactions, securing the network and participating in its governance. The usual layer 1 pros and cons. Can it compete is the question. <laughs> oh boy, this is a sad one. In 2016 there was a crowdfunded project on Ethereum. Well, it unfortunately got hacked and a large portion of the funds got siphoned off. To solve the problem the community decided to fork Ethereum, <laughs> literally hard forked. Eventually there were two blockchains, ETH as we know it today and Ethereum Classic because some of the developers and users wanted to keep the old blockchain alive. It is just my guess, but I think many investors put money into ETC because they thought it is Ethereum but cheaper. Just a speculation though. Filecoin is a decentralized storage network and cryptocurrency designed to facilitate a marketplace for users to buy and sell unused storage space on a blockchain. It uses a proof of replication and proof of space time consensus mechanism, ensuring that network participants are genuinely storing the data they claim. Users pay with Filecoin to store and retrieve data and miners earn Filecoin by contributing storage space. So in summary, Filecoin is a decentralized cloud. Nice.